What is up, Evil Crew? Today we have a video that was been requested by a lot of people. You guys want us to update this case. We have an update on the Mac Adventures, guys, and it's worse. It could, I mean, potentially worse than we could have ever imagined. It sounds bad. It's real bad. So for those of you who are just new to the channel and you haven't seen the two videos before this one, links to those will be in the description below, but we're gonna recap things for you guys. Mac Adventures was a team of father and son. They were adventure travelers and they liked to travel around the U.S. Mac Adventures had disappeared after being held at gunpoint at the back gate of Area 51. Put your hands, stand up. Put your hands up. I'm not gonna tell you again. They disappeared from all their social media and they disappeared from everywhere. Their YouTube, they stopped uploading. They completely disappeared soon after. We made a video covering their disappearance about two months ago and in that video, we tried to contact the son Garrett, but we did not receive a response. We left a comment on his Instagram saying, hey, we just wanted to make sure you guys were okay. We're gonna be doing a video on you guys and nothing. Nothing. Two months later after our video, Garrett, the son, finally replied to us. He said, I saw the video, appreciate the concern. And we we figured that was it. it was, there were no questions. It didn't seem like he wanted to talk anymore. We figured, okay, you know what? We're going to leave him alone. He clearly wants to be left alone. Yeah, so we let's... figured it was none of our business. We didn't want to bug him. We didn't want to keep pestering him. Oh, hey, so what happened? I mean, that didn't sound like he wanted to carry yeah, on the conversation. Exactly. I mean, he didn't like give us anything to go on. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> so we wanted to respect him and leave him, leave him alone. I think we even might have liked his comment, but we can't check now for reasons we're about to tell you. Two weeks after this, he went to our Instagram profile and he commented on one of our photo. It's a very interesting photo, I yeah, must say myself. Say, yep. He said, this is the reason why I didn't respond to you. I knew your fake news, looking for views, YouTube page doesn't actually care, nor could you handle the truth, dot, Dot. And we thought this was really weird because this was left on a photo of us on, I think, St. Patrick's Day where we were just out in the middle of nowhere and we took a photo and we uploaded it to Instagram. And a lot of people had a lot of ideas. Theories. Uh, theories of what he meant by this. Yeah, because we were in front of a cave. Yeah, we were in front of a cave. So we'll, we'll get to those comments, but guys, you got to hear this new in information we yeah. have. So we then asked him if we missed something because it really seemed like that. I mean, it almost seemed like a totally different person responding, which some people had theories about. They thought Thought maybe the one person left the first reply and then another person left the second reply because it just seemed so like off the wall. Yeah, it just seemed crazy. like a character actually. The whole thing seemed really weird to us. It was just like out of nowhere, out of left field. We said, hey, you know, did we miss something? Uh, you know, we basically said, you know, we hope we didn't miss something. Uh, we, we had like a DM we thought. Maybe we missed a DM from him. Maybe we missed a comment because we don't really check our Instagram. But he then, after we asked if we missed something, he blocked us and every account we have. We have personal to... accounts, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even all of our personal accounts, he blocked everything. After our last video where we updated everyone on this and told them how he blocked us, a viewer took it upon themselves to send Garrett a message and ask him what the heck really happened and why they abandoned their YouTube channel. And this was his reply, you guys. This, I'm telling you, what you're about to read if it's true. Now, we want to say we could be getting trolled. Yeah, it's the internet. We could be getting trolled. Um, he could be maybe enjoying the attention and trying to make things up to make it seem more mysterious but i'm telling you if it's real if he's being honest you guys it's pretty bad i mean and we'll get into why it's bad you might think oh it's no big deal but we'll get into it danger right, here we are. danger here we are i'm across the line i'm physically across the line you're gonna get shot me you want to go there and get across the line physically yeah that's it all right hey we drove all this way man so here we are garrett's gonna physically get across the line yeah all right you didn't get shot. The viewer said, so what the F happened? Garrett said, FDC six months. And we have to stop right there because we're pretty sure FDC means Federal Detention Center, don't you yes, think? Yes, but there's more to this, guys. I mean, that that alone sounds like, okay, maybe it's BS, but we got some details. But that... even then, even the fact that someone was able to get that out of him is pretty huge. That's big, yeah. Because, I mean, that's basically it. But it gets worse. We're going to get into it. You guys are going to want to hear this. Let's go. So then our viewer asked, are you faking it? Garrett said, does it really matter? either way. Then our viewer said, so something did happen. You can tell you don't want to talk about it. I don't mind. Garrett then did a peace sign emoji, which I'm not really sure what that means. Yeah, I don't either. I'm not sure either. Then our viewer said, so here's my question. Why comment on Ewu post? Garrett then said, they acted like they cared. Then I reached out and they ended up not caring. Which again, you guys, we have no idea why he said that. We actually do care. Garrett, if you're watching us, we do care. Yeah. We want to get your story out there. And I could tell you seem afraid to be able to talk, you guys. And based on these messages. Based on here. these messages. If you're not trolling us, he's literally afraid to talk about this, guys. Our viewer then said, oh, dude, I'm sorry. That's not right. Is that why you thought they were doing it just 
searched for views? Garrett said, yeah. Then our viewer said, that explains a lot why you don't want to talk about it. So how come you quit YouTube? You're getting a good fan base. Then Garrett said, they forced us to end it. Think about that. He could just be making this up. Okay, you guys, he could just totally be making this all up for attention, which doesn't make sense. We'll get into all that. It gets even more bizarre because then our viewer says, wait, how? So did the government make you stop doing YouTube since I know it wasn't you who didn't do it or doing this for attention, like being a troll? And then Garrett blocked them. That was it. That was all the information our viewer could get out of Garrett. There's a lot of things we need to discuss here. Why would he lie to a random person? I mean, I guess it's the internet. People lie all the time, but it just seems kind of weird to reply to a random DM and say these things. Yeah, it's, and there's more though, you guys. There's more yeah. to this. We have dug up more. And I have to say, if this is true, this is the state of our country that people are being locked up in federal detention centers under the most likely it would be under like the Patriot Act. And you might think, oh, that's good. But guess what? When they come for you, you might not think it's good when they decide that you do something wrong. They decide that your Fourth Amendment rights, your freaking freedom doesn't matter anymore because that's what you're saying when you say it's good. If, if this is true. If it's true, though, this would have to be under the Patriot Act because we dug into federal inmate records and neither him or his father are listed under federal inmate records. So this would have to be under the Patriot Act. Under the Patriot Act, they could literally do that without a record. So we dug in even more because we couldn't find it under federal inmate records. They both have pretty clean records. They're law-abiding citizens. There's nothing that says they were locked up for six months in a federal detention center. Yeah, and think about how crazy this would be that they were forced to leave their job, their money, the thing that was making them money, the government forced them to stop. Yeah, they were really into their YouTube channel. They were planning huge trips and stuff and something really did cause them to end it. I am waiting for the men in black to knock at our door. Seriously though, seriously. Now if he's telling the truth or not, we, we don't know, but something definitely happened but for sure. we have something completely supporting this guys. We, I mean, this goes deeper. We have something that supports this idea that he was locked up for six months. So in our first video, we noted there was a noticeable time gap in his posts on Instagram and he posted pretty frequently on Instagram, a six month, exactly six months that he stopped posting on February 20th, 2017, which was not too long after that last video yeah. on their YouTube channel. So he disappeared off his personal Instagram for a while. Okay, and then Garrett reappeared in August, 2017. And when he came back, he did say some interesting things that yeah, we discussed we... in our first video. So why don't we just play that clip? I know it's been a minute, lots has changed, but I haven't. And overall life is just fine. And then after that, he posts something else, which makes it sound like life was not fine. Yeah, what did he post? He posted like kind of like an end of the year. This was posted on December 21st, 2017, like an end of the year thing. And he said, as I look back on my year, I realized that through all the negativity and the ups and downs, there was true progress. This past year, I found myself questioning my life decisions and easily losing sight of where I wanted my life to be five years from now. I regret nothing. Forgiveness sounds easy, but for who I am and what I have become, it has consistently been a struggle of mine. I will forgive myself for the thoughts that I have had and will forgive myself at the same time that I thank myself for who I will become. All right, you guys, so let's talk about a few theories. Now, there's a theory that he's just trolling us. Benefits? He might en maybe enjoying the attention. That's the only thing I could think of. But he'd be more, get more attention if he had his YouTube channel up. Yeah. And making his own, he could literally be making his own videos about this and getting tons of views. Yeah, exactly. So it seems so, like he's scared almost. Because if you wanted to troll, think about this, guys. If you wanted the views and troll, you would go on and say, I was locked up for six months, guys, and the government did this and this and this and to me. And don't you think you could troll better by acting like really crazy stuff happened to you besides just a federal detention center for six months? Like, couldn't you ramp it up if you really wanted to troll? Exactly. Hardcore? So I'm not thinking it's a troll, guys. I'm thinking this guy's scared. It comes to me like he is afraid. So now let's go ahead and talk about a lot of the comments that you guys left in the last video, and let's just address that. So basically, some people were saying that he was trying to protect us. So maybe aggressive is his tactic to protect us. I don't but, know, honestly. But that's obviously not it. The message he sent to that other person, which we verified was a right account. Yeah, we verified that. That was him. That was most definitely from yes. Garrett. That alone says no, he wasn't trying to protect us. He was upset that we didn't answer his first message where he didn't give us anything to go on. Garrett, if you're watching this, we thought you wanted to be left alone. Just trying to leave you alone and respect your privacy and just leave you alone. Now that we know you wanted to talk to us, feel free to reach out. We will definitely want to talk to you. We want your story to be told, but I know, let me just say that, I mean, this might even put us in danger if this is real. Because think how scary that is. If this is real, think how scary it is that the government could literally tell you not to, to post 
based on YouTube. And they could come and lock you up. I mean, also what this makes sense is if you were looking at Garrett's Instagram before and after, as soon as that six month gap ended, he suddenly came back and he was suddenly big in the exercising and weightlifting. He sold all his motorcycles. Another thing we noted in the first video that we thought was really bizarre because that was his life basically. Yeah, and then he starts exercising though. And guess what, where you start exercising a lot? In prison. Yeah, exactly. You go to jail, that's all you can do. You exercise and then he comes out and now he's big in exercising. He's like going to gym and he's really big on lifting weights. And his second reply also leads into a lot of people saying, oh, I think he just wants to be left alone. He didn't want to be left alone. He was upset that we didn't contact him back. He exactly. wanted us to talk to him. So he definitely did not want to be left alone. Yeah, so he wasn't, he didn't want to be left alone. Guys, here's what I think. I think him and his father were locked up. I really believe that they got locked up. George Knapp, where the heck are you on this? You're over there worried about the Skinwalker Ranch and you were doing all that stuff on Area 51. But here's a case where some people may have been like locked up and who knows what horrible things. I mean, I don't know. They abandoned everything and they stopped riding their bikes. I mean, that must have been some horrific stuff they went yeah, through. Yeah, if it's true. Now, the gap in Instagram totally lines up, but we did find one Facebook post that he started a job in between this time, so we can't be sure. It's kind of confusing and it could be true. It could be true. But there's some things that don't, there's things that match up and things that don't match up, so. It's really crazy. I mean, I think it's true. These guys were active all over social media and YouTube, they talked to everybody and they, they wanted. they were finally gaining traction on YouTube. They are yeah. finally getting hits on YouTube. They are really excited. If you watch their videos, they're talking about how excited they are at the possibility of their video going viral. No one has ever been at gunpoint for camera dudes. I've, I've looked all over, the, all over YouTube, no one has that. This video's gonna go viral. Hopefully I can get on TV. Yeah. Here I am. I mean, they were really excited. And the hoax, again, please, if you think it's a hoax, go to that back gate. I've been there. A lot of other YouTubers have been there. You go to that back gate yourself. Take a fake gun and walk over that line and see what happens to you. You're not gonna be able to make it. And in that video, the guy, the so-called actor, some people try to say was an actor, walked across the line. He literally entered the base. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna be able to cross the line with a real or fake gun into a military base without the real camo dudes showing up. There's no way. No, we've been there. I mean, yeah. this is not a fake place. They didn't recreate the gate. They did not recreate it with fake signs, guys. Okay, it's not fake. It's 100% real. And I'm just a little bit afraid. I mean, what does it say if the if government- If it's true. Yeah. If it's true, that's insane. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you support that, someone steps across a military baseline and you think they ought to be put away for indefinite detention, then I'm afraid you have no idea how this country was founded and the principles and the constitution and the bill of rights that we were given by our founding fathers that were supposed to protect us. We were supposed to control the government. The government's not supposed to control us. Some people on their video where they didn't even cross the line, they just rode up to the line. They say they deserve to be killed. These are probably people who would say, oh, North Korea's bad. Right. Yeah, what the heck? Like, oh, you drive too close to the border. Oh, you lose your rights. They never went further than a foot. I know. It. They, they just... obviously didn't have intentions to, to break into Area 51. It just gave them leeway to get in trouble. Basically. That's why when we go to Area 51, you guys, we don't ever trespass. We stay no. within like five feet from the border. We don't want to give them the upper hand. Because as soon as you put your hand over that line or put your foot over the line, like they did in a lot of videos, they have a way to come after you. Six months imprisonment or both strictly enforced. I'm across. See? I'm totally across the line. They even say you shouldn't even be able to be on your own public land that's in front of the border, remember? Yeah, again, a lot of people who are new probably won't know, but all the surrounding area around Area 51 is public land. You're 100% allowed to be there. Back Adventures, they were 100% allowed to be there until they put their hand over the line or until they put their foot over the line like they did. I'm just saying, do you deserve to go to a federal detention center for six months because you goofed around and put your arm over? Well, you know you get us some idiot will be like, well, they're just making Rules secrets are rules, to I'll keep say. us safe. Oh, they're really keeping you safe. That's why they'll shoot you as you if you cross the line, they have the right to shoot you because they're going to keep you safe. Well, yeah, they're going to keep you safe by killing you, right? Hang on, and if it's to keep the American citizens safe, but then they're putting people in federal detention centers for just being there. I what mean, the heck is going on, guys? I mean, where is are we in this? Is it to keep people safe? Or yeah, upside what? down world here. They use it as a tourist attraction, and then when people go there, they act surprised and start putting people in federal detention centers when they get curious or just want to put really their 
good over. point. <laughs> Nevada literally has signs calling it the extraterrestrial highway. And then you have the little alien in and around the entire base, they sell all these little trinkets and things with aliens in Area 51, like basically telling you to go there. And treating it as like some goofy tourist attraction. And then when people go there and they want to put their hand over the line or take pictures just over the line, you're going to go to a federal detention center. That's something doesn't seem yeah. right to me about that. I mean, don't treat it like it's a tourist trap if you're going to put people in federal detention centers. He's a young guy. He's just a young guy, man. And if the government did something like that, I think it's freaking horrible. I think it's, it's just treasonous. I think it's the worst and most disgusting thing our country could do. If they just stepped over that freaking line, that's all they did is stepped over a freaking line. The base is so far away, you can't see anything from that line, okay? There's no reason to do that. If you're gonna do it, just give them their ticket like you do everybody else that crosses yeah, that line. Yeah, they didn't have any intention to do anything really bad. They might not know their people will say oh you're right so everybody driving around within 100 miles should immediately be searched right because you know they could be t that's like the dumbest idea either you have a constitution and you have rights or you don't there's no freaking in between on this you guys you want to live in a country that the government could do whatever it wants the roles have been reversed from what our founding fathers want give it a thumb down if you believe in freedom i mean real freedom not this bs freedom you believe in our rights you believe in the constitution you believe in our bill of rights hit the thumbs up guys let's see how many thumbs up we got versus thumbs down how many people actually want us to live in a dictatorship you don't get to choose which rights you have either you have them or you don't if you could take them away they're a privilege not a right. Guys, make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure to hit the bell. This will probably be our last video on Mac Adventures. Unless Garrett talks to us. And yeah, unless there's us, a major, yeah. major update. This is probably going to be the last one unless he contacts us. All right, you guys, we are out. We'll see you later. Bye.